just testing the pressure here just to show you how many different levels I'm barely, barely, barely touching. This should do it for my skeptical YouTube friends. We don't think the tilt works. We can see from the camera, I got this pen at a massive angle. And then when I straighten it out, shorten this brush just a little bit. Here, you know what? Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to start with a straight line, All right, and then we're going to start straight, and then I'm going to slowly tilt it from the side. Okay, so clearly, clearly we can see the tilt functionality of this brush, sorry of this pen. I turn it even upside down. As I'm moving it. Now the, the pen doesn't have rotate, so we don't want to get the two things confused, right? So if I'm spinning it, you're not going to see any difference there. But you know, as I'm bending the brush over, it is clearly capturing tilt. Real quick, we're just going to do one more demonstration of the tilt functionality of this pen. So we can see from the, the live preview, right, that my pen is clearly to the side. Okay, now we're going to go in there a little harder. We could see another test tilt function is working. Actually, let's turn this back up. This is almost straight up and down, and this is almost all the way to the side, about as much as I can get it before my hand just doesn't go anymore. Okay, folks, tilt clearly working. Now, another tip um, that I figured out after I did the original review was that uh, by default, the um, the Huion Pro 13 is scaled at 150%. So that's why Photoshop, the icons kind of look so huge. So you're going to want to set that to 100%. Okay, this is now looking like a full 1080p display. And we up photo, open up Photoshop, look how much room we have now, right? So if anybody was wondering in the first review why it was so goofy, um, that's going to be why. Another question I got asked either on YouTube or Reddit was about the color accuracy and the brightness of the screen. So one thing I found when I came in, again, I didn't calibrate it. It looked pretty good when I did the first video. However, um, I went into my NVIDIA settings and you can see I've already set it here. And it was using the default colors. So with, uh, I have an NVIDIA 1060 card. So I just changed that to use NVIDIA color settings. Uh, desktop color was highest. And the output dynamic range was full. And the display came alive even more. So um, if in the video it looked, you know, dull or too matte for you. Or, you know, you have questions about the color and stuff like that. Definitely go in here. And you want to make sure that output color format is RGB and everything else before you calibrate it.
One last thing that I didn't show is how to get into the uh, OSD menu, you know, for the display options. And it's going to be the most bottom button. But instead of just cycling through, you know, zoom and scroll up, scroll down and, and brush, you're going to actually hold it in for about three seconds. And a whole slew of options comes up for brightness and, you know, everything else you're ever going to want to change.